Hi, this is Mike Ken again, San Jacinto College Computer Information Technology, with another introductory video for my beginning Visual Basic class. In this video, I want to show you some common errors that you may run into with your first programs and how to fix them. So I've created this Lab 1, and I'm going to open up the folder for it. And as you remember, we want to double click on it, launch the compiler, and bring up my program that's got some common issues. Some of them are typos, some of them are a little more subtle. But I want to show you these problems so that if you get stuck, you'll know what's going on and what to look for to get unstuck. So you can see it's preparing my project. It's opening it up for the first time. And sometimes this takes a little bit. Now, I actually paused my video for a little bit while it was loading up so y'all wouldn't have to sit here for the whole thing. So here's my project. Here's my form. It's got a label. Still loading here just a little bit. It's got my label and two command buttons. Push me and exit. But if you notice down here in my error list, I have some errors. So that's one way you're going to know you have a, a mistake in your program and it's not going to run. The other way is you try to run it, you say start, and it's going to pop up with a confusing message that says, there were build errors, would you like to continue and run the last successful build? You don't ever want to say yes. If you say yes, you're saying run my old code, not run what I've currently written. So you have to say no, and now we need to go in and fix our errors. So I'm going to double click on push me to open up the code window for the push me button and if you notice there's some blue squiggly lines where I have errors so if I hold my mouse over the first error it says message label is not declared and may be inaccessible okay another error is hello is not declared and then end of statement expected finally down here we've got clause is not a member of lab1.form1. So we have to translate these messages that Visual Basic is giving us into what's really happening. Well, mostly when you see blah, 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 blah is not declared, or in this case, message label is not declared, what that means is when you want to name your controls on your form window, you misnamed them. You made a typo. Because your, your book may say, name it exactly this. Because they're going to have you go back in to the code window and write code based on you naming it correctly. So let's look at label. I'm going to click on the label to select it. I'm going to come over to my properties window, scroll up, and you notice it's not called message label. It's named message lapel. So I do indeed have a typo. I misnamed my control. It needs to be message label. Now once I do that, if I go back to push me, now you'll see there's no error here. And you'll also see down here in my error list, one of my errors has, got not, has, has gone away. Now, hello is not declared. Because if you don't have something in double quotes, Visual Studio, Visual Basic thinks it's the name of something. So what happened here is I forgot my leading quote. This needs to be, quote, hello world. So now I fixed my second error. Okay. Now I'm down to one error. Clause is not a member of label form. By the way, when, when you're seeing these errors, you can double click on them down here, and it will open them up to where they are. So what happened here is I just forgot to say, close. So now I've fixed all my errors. I can go back to my design window. I can hit save all which is always a very good habit and I can say start and now my wonderful exciting program will say hello world and the exit button will close the program out. So I fixed my errors but those are the most common errors I see that students have. Don't forget to always use save all now I can close my project, and once again, when you get ready to turn something in, you go to that highest level folder for your project. So here it is, Lab 1. You're going to right-click 
on it and say send to compressed. So now I've taken all these files and all these folders and turned them into one compressed file that I can upload to Blackboard to turn in my assignment for a grade. So that is what you will most likely see for errors. When in doubt, send me the code, get in contact with me, I'll help you out.